family. Remember last time we talked, I told you Mama Hen would be teaching us about sacred tradition? Well, I'm so excited because I get to say big people words like sacred tradition. And it's really very simple. It means handing on. What? No, I didn't say hand me down. <laughs> but hey, in a way, yes, it is a lot like that. You know what? I found out in my family a long, long, long time ago, before I was born, before my mama was born, our family started a special tree with little saints on it called the Saint Tree just for Jesus. And then my great-grandma taught my grandma, and then my grandma, she taught my mom, and now my mama is teaching me. So that's what means handing on. But sacred tradition is more special because the apostles who were 12 people that Jesus asked to give up everything and follow him, and they did, they were the ones that he picked to show sacred tradition to for everything he wanted us to learn. Like when your teacher picks you out of everyone in the classroom to do a special job, sacred tradition came from those 12 men called apostles because Jesus taught them. So then Jesus told and showed the apostles all of the things in a really special way. He didn't use books, just his words and the things that he showed them. He wanted them to have a special way to teach the people in his church. So he told them and showed them and it was passed from sacred scripture, the Bible and sacred tradition together. And he told Peter to lead his church and gave him the keys to his kingdom here on earth. And he told them he would send the, self, the Holy Spirit and he gave them sacred traditions. For example, the Last Supper and the Eucharist. The Eucharist. And that's something Mama Hen will teach you about. And he also gave them the sacred scripture, which included the most special part of the Bible. Remember we talked about the most special part of the Bible? That's called the Gospel. And it's in the New Testament. There are four books of the New Testament that are the Gospels. And their names are Matthew, Luke, John, and Mark. For each book is a different name for the four Gospels. Those are the ones that we stand up when the priests uh, reads them, or the deacon. They call them the gospel because the word gospel means good news. So in those books, they talk about the good news. The good news, he was telling and showing them in a special way that is called revelation. That's another big word I get to use today. Revelation using the Holy Spirit, sacred scripture, and sacred tradition, which is, which he showed them what he wanted them to tell the next apostles who went to the next apostles and the next apostles, like my great grandma, my grandma, and then my mom. And with the apostles, it's the apostles, and then the next ones, and the next ones, and those are our Catholic bishops and priests. They have a special understanding, which is revealed to them in the gospel in how to teach all of the church body. Yep, you and I are part of the church body. We're all members of the church body. We are Jesus' arms and legs, and we are supposed to help teach others to become part of his body, too. So we can share the good news. Next time, Mama Hen said she would send my brother, whose name is Peter, like our first pope, to teach you about what the word revelation means and Jesus' 
body and blood in the church. No, it's not scary. She said it's really beautiful. I'll be back in another time.